Hi guys, my name is Charles and you are watching Charles Soundbox TV. So in today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to deliver the jab and it's going to be a video that focuses more on the weight transfer as opposed to just the simple technique that you might use whilst training. So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to touch on when we're delivering that jab is the stationary position. With the stationary position jab, what I'm doing, I'm transferring my weight from the back foot to the left foot, okay? And that's the right foot to the left foot. When we're in our stance, we typically have the weight position more so on the back foot. And you can see that my head's not directly in the center. It's slightly off to the side, okay? And this knee is bent slightly more so than this knee. So that is the, um, the stance that we would start from, just from the side. Obviously, you can see here, this would be me centered. This would be me when I'm not centered with my head slightly over to the right. We have more of the weight position on the right foot, the back foot. And then when we throw the jab, we then transfer the weight, pushing our weight towards the front foot. So a small demonstration of the stationary jab would be there, okay? Now you can see, I haven't taken a step there, okay, from the side, there. Now you can see that my head approaches my lead foot, but it doesn't go over my lead foot. That's where I lose control, okay? So there, there. From the rear, boom. You can see how I just push off the back foot, there. Also stepping forward with the jab. You typically can do that in two ways. You can step, boom, ba, and recover the lead hand as you move the back foot forwards. So again, ba, 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 okay? Or you can push your body into the jab, okay? Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. You can see the extension is at a max. I rotate my lead shoulder into my opponent. That brings my shoulder closer to my opponent and then I extend. So this serves as a reminder about all the technical things that you should be looking for when you're throwing the jab. When your opponent, who's also learning the same things as you, identifies your stance, then he identifies that you're going to throw a jab. You need an extra layer of deception to land that jab. And this is the weight transfer that I'm talking about. We want to exaggerate our movement. Now, what happens as we do this? Okay, you can see that we sway from forwards to backwards, forwards to backwards. From the back when we're swaying, you can see we transition forward there this is different from our typical movement where we're here which is what everyone learns okay it's the most safest type of movement from the back now the aim of this is to set up three points upon which we can fire the jab from that our opponent is not necessarily aware of. Now, everyone is aware of the jab being thrown from that position, okay? But when we are swaying, we give our opponent a different look so our opponent can't decipher when we're going to throw our jab. We haven't set our feet and then decided to throw. What we're doing, we look as if we're in transition, constant transition. So forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And this transition is almost like being in the square stance, moving like this along the ropes, okay? It gives our opponent the false sense of security that we're still moving. But what we're going to do is have three points upon which we transfer our weight and then fire off unexpectedly. The first particular position is when we have our weight just approaching our lead foot, okay? So what we do when we're in our stance, going forwards, 
backwards, forwards, ba. Okay? So as we approach the lead foot, we then take another step. Okay? Remember the transition. So the phase is we rock back first of all, take a step, transfer the weight forward. Just as our head approaches the lead foot, we then take another step with the lead foot. Ba. Okay? So in free flow, ba, okay? Now that is a different phase or transition from how we would normally throw the jab, okay? We've already stepped and then we throw the jab. So typically, it's almost like our opponent is used to seeing our back foot come forward, we get into stance and then we throw, okay? But this one uses weight transfer first. Ba, okay. So we land the foot, give our opponent a different timing to when we would throw that jab, okay. So that is the first one, and I'm going to demonstrate that on the bag. Our second type of jab that we would use is when our rear foot touches the floor after we transition our weight backwards and forwards. So what we do, we go forwards, backwards, forwards. As we bring our rear foot off the floor, it touches, bah, then we fire forwards. Okay, so I exaggerated that slightly. I'll try to show you that again. Bah, okay, just there. Going forwards. Bah, okay, from the rear. Bah. Now, this particular jab, we have a slight weight transfer going back and then we fire. So, normally when our opponent detects the rhythm of our movement, they have a subconscious feeling. So, when we go forwards, there's a bit of anxiety. When we go backwards, the stress is alleviated. Now, this is where we surprise them. Obviously, when we go forwards, it looks like we're more aggressive, but when we slightly edge back, our opponent takes the stress off, the tension off, slightly relax, and then he assumes that we're not going to attack. But as soon as we go back, boom, bah, then we push forwards, okay? So if I'm to demonstrate this again, Ba. Ba. Okay. So that is the second form of weight transfer to help us with our jab. And I'm going to demonstrate that on the bag as well. The third type of weight transfer is when we surprise our opponent as our weight is on the rear foot. And instead of stepping forward and then transitioning the weight from back foot to left foot, we then propel ourselves forward. So, to demonstrate that, we go forwards, backwards, our opponent thinks we're going to step, ba, okay, then we propel ourselves forwards, okay, so we would be there, there, ba, okay, and this normally works best when firing to the body, okay, so we can obviously use our lead hand with all of these types of jabs and then give our opponent a focal point or even use our eyes so our opponent focuses on a particular part of their body where they think the jab is going to be landed or any attack coming forward but then we divert it elsewhere so i could be there there give an indication to our opponent to expect an attack the head bah. Okay, then I come down to the body. So again. Bah. Now, that is the third jab. I'm going to demonstrate that from the back as well. Bah. I'm going to give you a brief minute or so of shadow boxing in the ring where I'm moving around and demonstrating all three jabs with the stationary jab as well.
Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. Please share the video to anyone that you feel may benefit and hit that like button if you've enjoyed watching the video. Now obviously this video is primarily about weight transfer and offsetting the timing of your opponent with your jab. So transferring your weight from left to right, forward to backwards. Remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay informed of any new videos that I might be dropping in the future. Until my next video, I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Oh,